Welcome, beautiful artists. My name is Opal, and I'm a classically trained artist. We'll be looking at what the course is offering, exploring the course, and revealing the art results with Introduction to Landscapes by Philip Sue. There are so many courses found on 21 Draw, and I'm excited to take my landscapes to the next level. Two plus hours and nine lessons, this course is for beginners. Our instructor, Philip, is an illustrator and environment designer from New Zealand, specializing in science fiction and fantasy art. And here's a few examples of his art. His artwork is absolutely breathtaking, and I've been eager to take his course. With two plus hours of recorded videos, playing with layering Photoshop, six assignments, download cheat sheets, color palettes, a downloadable brush pack, and download certificate. A Mac to run Photoshop or Windows as of recently. A drawing pad is highly recommended. A Cintiq is a professional choice, two sizes, a 22 and a 16. Or you can use an Apple iPad and a pencil. Links are in the description. The ratings are fantastic and was voted best suited for beginners. Great step-by-step -step progress, clarity of instruction, and helpful examples. All right, the pages got me excited. Let's get into it. The introduction. The artist introduces himself, his artwork, inspirations, and course overview. Jumping into the course, we have grayscale composition sketches. I had a lot of fun with blocking as I'm usually a sketch artist. Philip has many different landscape sketches to draw with him. It was a lot of fun following in my own style. One thing I did notice is that he talks fast, so expect to start and stop once you've caught up. I don't mind though, I enjoy taking my time to absorb the practice. Applying and sketching in colors quickly. Using the palette provided, each line connects to each sketch. I've been digging this color palette a lot, and they definitely connect to each scene. One thing to keep in mind of this course is that blocking, you want to keep it simplified, and the details will be added later. I kind of went a little overboard, and I had to redo it. As I'm coloring through these sketches, it was a lot of fun watching the color just pop out the scenery. Next is lighting scenarios. Now this is where the sketches really started to pop. It was a lot of fun with each sketch. And here's my redone mountain. I had to simplify it and I didn't like the shape anyway, so I stepped outside my box and my style and tried his. I ended up loving it. Halfway done and I'm feeling these. Even as a classically trained artist, his techniques have been challenging me to push me outside my zones. And I'm grateful for it, because these are starting to come out wonderful. And here's what we have so far. They look amazing, and I'm excited for the rest of the course. 
Left we have atmosphere, populating techniques, and refining, adding details and finalizing. We did it. Now let's see where his teachings have taken the sketches. I am blown away at how these came out, and I am thankful to have some new techniques to play with in the future. Overall, it took me three days to complete, as I took my time absorbing and practicing. This is all levels approved, as it will challenge everyone. And fantastic teaching, that I agree with all of the reviews at the beginning. It even has a large brush pack that you get to download. If you like this course, please like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time I complete an art course. Are you interested in other art courses? Check out these ones. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.